Hi everyone, my name is Liz. I read and welcome to another video. So this is a book outlet unboxing. I'm showing it this way because there's no stamp on the side. I don't know why, but I'm super excited to get this. I don't know why, but these books like take forever to get here. So every time I order a box, I like can barely remember what I ordered. I remember a couple books, but that's about it. So I'm super excited to unbox this with you guys. So if my memory is failing me, I'm terribly sorry, but let's discover what's in here together. I'm excited. Let's tilt you guys a tad so you can see what's going on. Here we go. This is like industrial <laughs> packaging. Here we are. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh my word. I'm excited. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my goodness. I'm always. <laughs> I like clearly never remember, which is so much fun. Okay, so I remember. A little bit now when I did this order I specifically wanted to start buying some sequels in order to fill up my series because I'm in such a like series binge mode and I want to complete series that are on my TBRs so I bought some sequels I bought some romance um, so let's start with Blood Rose by Andrea Kremer this is the sequel, I need my glasses, I can't see if I'm looking on my bookshelf, sorry, um, for Nightshade. Um, it's a vampire series. I think it's YA, I'm pretty sure, but Nightshade is book one, and this looks like it's book three, so I'm hoping I have other books in here, so we'll see. It's a vampire YA, I think. Never read it, but I do want to read more paranormal. I got Pride and Prejudice and Mistletoe. I know it's a Christmas book. But I love Pride and Prejudice retellings, um, so obviously this is set during Christmas time, and this is soon to be an original movie. That's interesting. Now, funny enough, so this has been on my TBR on Goodreads for a while, and this is my lowest rated book. But that did not stop me from purchasing it. I really want it. It's super short. It's not very long. And this may sound super weird, but I think I'm going to allow myself to read Christmas books throughout the year. I don't know about you guys, maybe this is super silly, but I feel like so stressed to read Christmas books during Christmas time, and I just feel like there's just not enough time to read all the Christmas books you have on your bookshelf, and it's like, I don't know, I, I know that's silly, but I feel that way, so if I want to read this throughout the year, I'm going to allow myself, and I think this is like a gender swap Pride and Prejudice, so Darcy is the female in this relationship. Um, she's beautiful, successful, and brilliant, but she's not even 30. And then, I don't know what his name is, Luke Bennett. Oh, well, that's interesting. So, I'm excited about this. Okay, so I see Wolfbane by Andrea Kremer. This is book two. This is book three. I already have book one, so I'm starting to complete out the series. Let's go over here. I'm excited about this one because... I heard people talking about it because the sequel is coming out. Now I'm going to have to buy the sequel, I guess. Um, but The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. I have not read Emery Lord before. And I wasn't going to pick more contemporary, specifically why, because I have so many on my bookshelf. But this premise sounded so fun. We follow Paige, and her first boyfriend died in a swimming accident. And since then, she's kind of shut everyone out in her life. And she decides to finally kind of have a fresh start and one of the ideas is for her to start dating one of her old crushes. Um, but things change when she meets his cousin. And his cousin is a bit nerdy and he runs the nerd bowl um, or the quiz bowl, sorry. And I don't know, that promise just sounds super cute and fun. And there's a sequel, I think just coming out this year, so I thought I'd pick this one up. The next one I'm excited about, there's a lot of mixed feelings about it, and that's 99% mine 
by Sally Thorne. <gasps> there's an epilogue in here from The Hating Game. That's why I wanted to still read this because for one thing, there's the epilogue from The Hating Game. Hating Game is one of my favorite um, adult romances. Um, but this is her second book and some people don't like it, but I still really want to try it anyways. I, oh my goodness, look at the rip. <laughs> Whoopsies. Um, yeah, I'm not that surprised that I must have gotten a damaged copy. That's totally fine with me. I'm not that upset. But I don't even, I can't even read it because it's ripped. But I think they know each other. I think maybe she had a crush on this guy when she was younger and he's helping fix up a house. Maybe it's her brother's friend. I don't really remember and I can't read it so I'm sorry. But another um, adult contemporary that I'm super excited about, I have not tried these authors before, but I'm excited to, and it's my favorite, Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren. Everyone on booktube is reading Christina Lorna, sorry, Christina Lauren. So this is the one they had on Book Outlet, and Millie has always been one of the guys. Oh, she's a professor, that's interesting. But she's a terrible game professional, and she's just like her four best guy friends and fellow professors, always single. And then I think there's something to do with like an app, and I think it's kind of like a friends to lovers relationship. I didn't know he, she was a professor. That's kind of a fun element. So I'm excited to get to this one. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, we can do this one. This is Frozen Rain by um, Catherine Purdy. I have the first two books in this series. The series is called, let's see if I can find it. Oh, it's Burning Glass. Um, and I think this author has a new book coming out as well. I liked this premise. So now it's the entire trilogy. And I think it's, oh, do I remember? I'm gonna go get it. Okay, so this is the first book, Burning Glass. Um, and I honestly have never heard of this. I just saw it on Book Outlet and the title intrigued me. I wanted to see what it was about. Sonia is born with a rare gift to feel what those around her feel, both physically and emotionally. And she's kept hidden from the empire. But when a tragic accident pushes her into the spotlight, She's hauled off to the palace and forced to serve the emperor as a sovereign or a seer. I think that's what I liked about it because she has a special gift. When the emperor finds out, takes her to the palace. And so I do really like those kind of tropes where it's someone taken who has hidden themselves or has lived like a normal life and taken to the palace and swept up into the politics of it. I do love that kind of trope. As she struggles to wrangle her ability, Sonia seeks refuge in her tenuous alliance with the emperor and his idealistic younger brother. So I think there'll be a romance in here. Book two is Crystal Blade and then I have Frozen Rain which is the final of this trilogy so I can binge read this series which I'm excited to do. Let's go with this one. This is not, oh it's a little roughed up here. Okay so this is not part of a series but I picked it up because it's Holly Black. I want to read more Holly Black books. This is White Cat. I don't even know what this is about. Cassell comes from a family of cursed workers, people who have the power to change your emotions, your memories, your luck, but the slightest touch of their hands. Since curse work is illegal, they're all criminals, but not Cassell. He hasn't got the magic touch, so he's an outsider, the straight kid in a crooked family. As long as you ignore one small detail, he killed his best friend, Lila. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna read right now. But I think it's a standalone. I don't think it's part of a series. So it's just a standalone urban fantasy, fantasy, one of those. I just almost, I honestly just picked it up because it's Holly Black. So I'm excited to get to this. And lastly, oh goodness, and they're like hard covers. I got the last two books in the, let's see if I can find it, Dark Days Club series by Allison Goodman. So book one is the Dark Days Club, which I have. And I don't know, I don't know which one is which, which one's book two and which one's book three. Okay, so I think this is book two, maybe. I don't know, don't quote on me, look it up if you want. Um, but I have The Dark Days Pact and The Dark Days Deceit. And I picked these up because I it sounded like kind of like a steampunky urban fantasy set in the 1800s, which is part of one of my favorite genres. I don't know, do you call that a genre? Um, where there's it's kind of like an urban fantasy, paranormal, steampunk, 18th century, 
usually there's a mystery. So here's book one. Lady Helen should be preparing for her debut at the royal court. She should be attempting to secure a marriage, but something always told her she was destined for more. So when her family's maid suddenly disappears one night, Helen goes in search of answers. That's when she discovers two things. There's an unearthly reason behind all the sinister activity in town, and she is the focus of the dashing but mysterious Lord Carlston. Helen knows he could be trouble, but he might also help uncover the secrets surrounding her parents' death. So it's kind of like a mystery. I don't even know if this is, like it sounds like it's possibly supernatural or an urban fantasy, um, but it doesn't actually tell you. So I can't tell you because <laughs> I don't know. But that is it. Those are all the books. I got a really good haul. I got a lot of books. I'm excited about all of them. I've almost completed most series. This one I'm missing one, sorry, the Nightshade series, I'm missing one book. I think it's a four book series. But this series is now complete, which I'm excited about. And then I got some adult romances and some YA romances. So that's super exciting. Woo! So this was my unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not done so. You can follow me on Goodreads, Twitter, and Instagram. And you know what, guys? I want you to keep reading. Bye.